Now we're gonna move on to, to the Jordan samples, some random shoes that I just want to show you guys that you don't see on the sneak peeks. This is a Jordan 1, this is Japan. This is the actual uh, sample pair, and as you can see, it's numbered as well out of uh, 3,000, and that's number one. This Jordan 12 is pretty unique. They actually made it in the Wizards colorway. As you guys all know, the released version had the, all the blue. This one has a black bottom, the copper, and has a heel tab with the copper on the heel to go with the whole Wizards colorway. This one I bought back in 2005, but I've never seen anyone else with this colorway. Never. It's a white and brown, low top, Jordan 12. It's just this colorway is nice. Ever since I saw it, I liked it. Just because it's brown, brown with the mochas. Mochas became a classic, you know, a lot of people like the mochas. And I just like the white and brown on the shoe. It looks nice. And it also has the sample as well on the inside. Sample-wise, what's harder to obtain, LeBron's or Jordan's? I would say Jordan's. I would say Jordan's because LeBron's come on the market all the time. What was the first sample you came across? That's a good question. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was done, out of all these, it was the Undefeated 4. So this, we're gonna move on to 21, which is actually a sample, unreleased colorway, never came out. It's got the black suede, with the white. Kind of yellowed because of the years, but this next one is a Jordan 20. Someone posted this on Instagram and said, size 13 and a half, only size ever made. I posted the picture the next day and I was like, and I told him, really? Because I have the size nine and I got the, still got the pouch in, Lixie sample. So supposedly it was only made for Jordan. This is a Jordan 15 sample, just a colorway that they were gonna drop, but unfortunately it got scrapped. Got the navy with the white. As you can see, yellowed over the years. This is a Jordan uh, 14. I think they made it in a high top. Nice liner on the inside. Carolina. I got the sample stamp from, uh, yeah, I got the sample sticker on the inside. This was part of the rainbow pack. And Mark Smith actually made this pack. It's a pretty nice color where you got that. You know, you take the top off. You got the, that royal blue, it's just real nice. You all know they released these at the House of Hoops. Quentin Richardson, Jordan 8. Nice colorway, because you don't see these often. You don't see these colorways. I like these colorways, the white with the blue and the orange. Yeah. It goes good together. <laughs> Jordan 22. I don't remember what the pack was called when, when they released them, because I know they released them with an image on the side yeah. back then. But this is the actual sample, so it doesn't have anything. We move on to the, to the 20 low. This is actually kind of similar to the colorway that they made for Derek Anderson. He had one made similar to this one, but this is uh, before any, this was a look-see sample that they had made and it never made it to production, so stayed a look-see sample. Air Trainer 1, made for uh, Taleb Kweli. You know, got the beautiful one stitching on the heel. I guess they made it just for him when he released his album. I had other Revises, but I only brought two out, but this was uh, Passing the Torch 1, New York City. It's a sample as well promo, wasn't released. Nice suede, got the gold. You got the zoom on the bottom, the NYC. It's a nice shoe overall. I like this shoe, it's very comfortable. You got the Provo colorway with the blue and the, the white with the 3M. And you got the state of Hawaii in the sole. It's nice, clean. It's rare to see somebody with Zoom Kobe one or pull one out, but um, this was a sample as well, made when he was uh, for the Houston, out in Houston All-Star. Has the Houston on the, on the insole, it's a star. It's just a nice color way it pops out. It's really nice with the yellow. All right, so this is another little setup I have here. This is some of the, kind of the more rare items I have in the collection. So this is a Air Max One, it's the Amsterdam. Actually, this is the Hyper Strike one. The ones that people have, don't have. The pattern signature on the side, stitched. I had to pull out the Atmos. It's a nice shoe to have in the collection. It's always nice to have an Atmos. Not too many people know what these are. I saw these back then, and um, 
I remember they said they're gonna make a shoe for Kanye. Blah, blah, they made him a Hirachi. This is actually made for the, his Glow in the Dark tour. Got the suede, this is all. The blue is 3M. We got the, the nice colorways that pop off, make it stand up. It was Yeezys before the Yeezys. <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to another pretty rare pair that you don't see that often. This is actually the Kanye 180. I made it for the College Dropout album. And it got the bear logo on the tongue. It has the, the bear logo on the insole. It's the actual sample because from what I know or from what I heard was that the breasts were made in size 12s, which were his size. You guys all remember the, the Pearl Blue 9s that came out, but they only came out in a low top version. This is a high top version that they made, but it was never released. Same thing, same everything, it's just a high top version of the Pearl Blue 9. Now this right here, you about to show us something that I think a lot of people have never seen before. Yeah, not too many people have know, uh, have seen these or know about them. This is a Jordan 7, but it's in a low top version. And it is an actual sample. I guess they were thinking of releasing them. They made them in two colorways, which is uh, the white and the citrus colorway. So these are both unreleased samples. And I mean, I don't know how to call it because they never made them in low top version. They're pretty rare. These are uh, Concords. These are original Concords, but they're actually sample pairs. Still pretty icy for the years. This is from uh, 96. And the way you can tell that it's original from 96 was because, and it's actual sample, was because it has the, has the Nike insole, the Nike Air insole on the inside. And it came with the 45, as you all know. They didn't make them with the 45. It came out with the 23 only. And I do happen to have the, it's the, actual, it's the actual sample bag that came with it. Concord, you know, made in Taiwan back in the days. Now we're gonna move on. This is a 2001 sample. And these aren't the fakes that, or the pairs that people are making and putting them on eBay as the original 45 samples. This is a Space Jam and it ha also has a 45. It has a sticker they used to put when they used to make samples. They used to put a little sticker, like the size run they were gonna do, and like a sample sticker on the inside. Not too many people are a fan of the 19. A lot of people are like, ah, oh, it's a bulky shoe, it's a bulky. I actually have about eight different colorways. This is a marble toe. This never came out and it has the, you can see, has the marble toe. It's a sample version. Um, they just made it all stealth. It's not a cord line sample stamp on it. So this here is um, the Jordan 3, made for SoFly. Store out in Florida. You know, I got the opportunity to buy them and I bought them. Very nice colorway actually. Pictures don't do justice for them, but this is actually a really nice shoe. I got the 3M on the side and I got the SoFly uh, logos on the inside. Now this shoe, as you all know, this is newer to Jordan uh, 12 OVOs. Got the Stingray and nice suede, like clear bottom. I don't know what color it is. It's a nice shoe, stands out. Rare too, it has the, the, the Owl, the OVO logo on the insole. This shoe is the Oregon 5. This shoe was actually given to me by Tinker. He sent it to me um, as a gift. It means a lot to me. Like people ask me, hey, you have a size nine. Would you sell it? No, I wouldn't sell it because it means a lot to me. It's not just an Oregon duck. It was given to me by Tinker. From being in the sneaker culture for a long time, describe your um, relationships with some of those guys. So you mentioned Tinker, you mentioned Jason Petrie, Mark Smith. What happens is back in the days with the Soul Collector events and everything, it was uh, they were pretty big. And a lot of these high people at Nike, they would go to these events and they would, they would meet people and this and that. And um, the way I ran into Tinker, I met Tinker was, uh, we were actually back in the Chamber of Fear events, they were doing charity auctions at every event. And we were buying probably out of the five pairs they would have at every event, we were buying about three. So then it came across where um, Steve from Soul Collector was like, hey guys, Tinker wants to meet you guys. He wants to know who these balling twins are. And I've got a little story about that too, about how that name came about, because everybody's like, Ballin' Town. I was like, no, it's Ballin' Twin. 
<laughs> so like when I met Jason, he's like, man, I've heard so much about you guys from Ken or whatever. And you know, all right, you know, you guys gave me a tour of campus. We went up there, he gave us a tour of the campus and stuff. And um, it's a pretty cool guy. Mark Smith, I, I've met a couple times. Same thing because of charity auctions and stuff. Like just back in, that's how it was back in the days. Nowadays it's like, there's, there isn't really any events like that or anything that that uh, that happened. So this is a Georgetown Four. It's a pretty cool shoe. I just got this not so long ago. It's a pretty cool shoe though. I mean, the details on it is amazing. You got this, you got this. You got the Georgetown on the inside. And you got the the bulldog on the outside. The suede is it's really nice actually. And to find this shoe in a my size is pretty hard. It's pretty hard because all the basketball players are size 14, size 15. Like you don't see these in small sizes. You guys probably wonder why it's upside down. <laughs> I do it on purpose. Uh, this is actually Velcro. These are the undefeated fours actually, and pretty worn as you can see. I've had these since day one, since they auctioned them off, since I won them. Velcro, so it comes off, just put it back on, however you want. And actually, I got a funny story about these because I was in uh, Pomona. What happened was I I went to Pomona with my brother. He was wearing the M&M 4, which I also got here too. So he was he was wearing M&M 4s. I was wearing Undefeated, Michael Jordan. I walked into his uh, private booth and he says, are those fake? I'm like, are they fake? <laughs> I was like, no, you guys, uh, Jordan branded a collaboration with some store in LA called Undefeated. And um, he was like, what? He's like, no way. And he gets on the phone right away. He calls this guy like, how come I don't have these? And I was like, well, I got something that Michael don't have. So, you know, it was pretty, <laughs> you know, to have something he didn't have, it was pretty cool, you know. Through sneakers, I've gotten the opportunity to meet, you know, three people I always wanted to meet was Michael, Kobe, and LeBron. I've met all of them. All three of them, the M and M's, pretty rare nowadays. <laughs> it's a very sought after. Like people want this shoe. This is a, a Jordan 11, but this is a prototype. It's an actual sample. It wasn't made for anybody. But it makes it unique is that from I've heard different. I don't know the exact story about it. I like it just because it's different. It's it is a sample, and I've asked Tinker. He doesn't know what what the deal was with it. The one who got mad, the one who got upset because I, I owned it was uh, Gentry. Gentry got kind of bothered when he saw I had it. And uh, from what he said, he said they were just testing out different soles on the 11s. So if you see, this wasn't like made like by someone. This is actually, you know, it's an actual prototype of the, the breads. And it's not like the regular breads either. This has a leather upper though. I know the breads have mesh, right? Head automaticas. You don't see these that often. This is uh, friends and family, Kobe Bryant, um, Air Force One. So you can see it's his old logo. And I was actually wearing these when I met him. So when I met him, he asked me, he said, hey, you don't have anything you want me to sign? And I was like, I looked down and I was like, oh, I took them off my feet, here you go. Boom, and then he ended up signing them. <laughs> Took them on my feet, ended up signing them. It's pretty, pretty cool shoe. I wouldn't sell this. I don't, you know, regardless of the price, I wouldn't sell it just because this is the shoe I was wearing when I met Kobe Bryant. <laughs> you guys remember, this is a mad hectic Air Force One. Um, you can see those red shoes before the Yeezys. <laughs> this is an Air Force One made for Houston, the Houston Astros colorway. Got the colorful uh, and so, and it got the Houston logo. Got Houston, the orange pan leather. It's a pretty nice shoe, you ask me. It's very, stands out. I like wearing it a lot too. This was another colorway that they made for the same year of the All-Star game, but this is actually, uh, this is actually as well, Houston. This is all 3M. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember, but this pair released. Well, not like this, because this one, it was a Stash Futura collaboration between them, and they made this shoe. And so what they did was they made the promo friends and family pair with the stitching on the side. This one says Futura, this one says Stash, this one's lasered, this one's Stash, this one's laser with Futura logo. Another All-Star shoe. This is a, just the Air Force promo pair that they made for the All-Star game. You see the colorways and 
got the star like the like the jerseys usually do. Got the red, white, and blue colorway. Now these I wore a lot. These are um, you guys all remember Vibe magazine. I did a some Air Forces for them. Pretty crazy because um, I mean, also with this you don't see this too often. Some guy hit me up um, back in the days on the ISS forums and he wanted to buy the shoelaces. Just the shoelaces, just because of the color of the shoelaces to match the shoes. He offered me $100 just for the shoelaces. And I was like, no, I'm not going to give you the shoelaces. Like, no, you find your own shoelaces. <laughs> the PlayStation Air Force One. I had these since day one. Back in the days, they weren't just purchased. They're yellowing and stuff. And I was actually, I met the guy who designed them. His name was Ron Ego. He was working for Sony and um, cool guy. You know, he hooked me up with a couple pairs. Getting close to the end, so this color was only given away to uh, the competitors of the Soul Collective and the finales in Las Vegas. And um, these were, like I said, they were only given to the, the people who competed. And it has a date of when the event took place. It says 7-22-2006. And this one got a, this one has a logo, it's like a little jump, guy jumping. These right here are uh, some special to me. They were given to me by Mark Smith. He made one for me and he made one for my brother and he wrote a little message on there. And he's just like, I'm gonna send you guys something. I said, okay, cool. So he came up with the saying, I guess he put on both of them. It says one of two and two of one. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And then uh, on the other ones, on the on the other sides, he actually put, he put our names on it. You know, it says my brother's name, Ivan. You know, and then mine says, obviously says, says Randy, but I think I'm gonna break these out when I, when I get married. It'll be nice, <laughs> look like a nice dress shoe. And being that I would competed in the finale in Las Vegas, uh, with the Soul Collector, I actually, I won the whole series. I took first place and that day I was handed these, which, um, Honestly, I've never seen anybody else with it. it. It looks similar to the Turtles, the white and gold pair that they did for Entourage. But I've seen several pairs of the Entourage. This one, when I got this pair, it, I opened a box and it smelled burnt. Like they had just barely made it. Like it smelled burnt. And it has a lot of detail on it. It has like the Soul Collector S on it. it has the cities that the events took place. Like it says LAX. Um, it says Las Vegas, it says, it says since 2006 or whatever, and then it has, uh, this one has other details, so it says Grand Finale, then it says, it has the, that was Mark Smith's uh, logo back in the days, and um, the shoe was given to me, and honestly, I haven't seen anyone with this shoe, anyone, and so it's pretty rare, and it came with this really cool box, you know, you don't see these boxes too often either, it has the same, crazy because it has the same um, material that the shoe was made out of it was placed inside if you can see you can just it was lasered and then the it was placed inside just you know really cool you know and then on the inside it says uh you know it's signed by mark smith well randy thank you man for showing us some amazing stuff yeah anytime anytime yeah it's a lot of stuff we've never seen before a lot of sneak peek first oh yeah that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, and shout out to Private for opening up their retail spot. Oh yeah. Letting us shoot another sneak peek. 